Guys, just as I was finna leave, guess what happened? What's up, YouTube? Welcome to All Three Garage. Welcome to a whole new video. As you can see, man, it's a rainy, gloomy day. You already know I'm in the hoodie. You already know things finna get goody. So, guys, we finna make something out of nothing. And I'm gonna let you know that you can do this yourself. You should. This is my first time. I've been doing research. And I think we can uh, make this work. Um, I'm going to tow my Porsche with the Mercedes. Mercedes is capable. Had looked up the, the limit. It can, like, okay, I think it's, like, 45 or 4,100 pounds this car could take. The Porsche is only like about 2,700, maybe 25 in that area. Uh, so I wanna do something real cheap. It only cost me $114 instead of 625 from a tow company, uh, instead of renting a truck, and instead of, you know, asking other people for help. Cause I have to do it on their time and stuff, you know what I mean? I don't like doing certain things on people's time and stuff, especially if I know it can get done. And it is raining, so hopefully nothing don't stop us. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna have to be in the rain with it, so screw it. But anyway, we're gonna do this hopper freight thing. It's more safer than using the straps, because my plan was to use a, a strap, and I was gonna be in the other car, and the other person was gonna be, you know, in the other. But if I had the straps, when we stopped, and I stopped, it could like tug, you know, instead of uh, compared to um, the tow bar I have, which is everything is like firm, everything is like unison, in unisys, if you get what I'm saying. So the first thing, I wish I had thought about this before, because I probably would have ordered a bumper for the uh, 944, but I'm gonna use my original bumper. Uh, the plan is to uh, drill uh, into the bumper, um, it's not gonna be noticeable uh, whenever I put it back together, but it's gonna be like a, a, a feature uh, just in case down the road and all that that I might need and stuff, which will be very handy. However, I did tow with uh, my Tahoe before just with straps uh, in the Porsche and the way I hooked it up was on the sway bars and stuff and it had like popped it out, but I was able to pull it back in. Later, I found out that it had holes on the bottom side, so that was like a rookie mistake. Um, but like I said, we're gonna see uh, how this work, what y'all think about this setup. Would you have spent the 625 or would you have like your insurance company? Cause I, like, I don't have coverage on the, uh, I don't have roadside coverage. So I had to update that. And you know, I think that would have been like a, a two day or something process if I'm mistaken. But I say, uh, this idea had came up. I seen videos. I even looked at uh, looked at a form. Luckily, I found that form, but I didn't see nothing else about somebody uh, flat towing a uh, Porsche or 944. So that's gonna be pretty interesting. It's gonna be a pretty interesting drive. So hopefully everything just go all as well. So guys, we made it to the Porsche 944. And man, this is gonna be the moment of truth. Uh, hopefully everything go as planned and we gonna, you know, get it. Probably get me like a little shot of it. Man, these cars look so good together. So anyway, let's get to work. I think the first thing first is what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm remove these bump stops. I think it's like a 19 millimeter I need to remove uh, so I can get on the other side and see how this is going to work. Um, so hopefully and prayerfully we can get it done. So guys, this is the kit right here. Uh, this is the Hall Master adjustable tow bar. Um, like I said, we're going to hook her up. Um, and we got two 19 millimeters on each side that we need to take apart. Um, so I can take these bump stocks off and then I need to see how I want to mount these holes on here and stuff. But I'm going to take this out of the box and uh, see where I can go from there. So guys, right out the package, we got the tow bar itself and we got the mounting hardware. I'm glad it got like the lock uh, nut on there. Uh, so we should be actually good. So this actually mounting this should be pretty damn easy. Um, so I just drill my holes and that should be pretty much Can we take a good look at this Porsche for a little minute? 
Man, I am so stoked at towing this car, especially with the towing product in the Mercedes. So let's just get this thing apart. Taking the bumper off wasn't easy as I thought. It was pretty hectic, but we managed to get through it. And when I say pretty hectic, I'm wet right here and all that, like on the ground. So I know when I get home, I gotta take me a good shower. And I'm gonna get back dirty again anyway, but um, we make some progress. Um, pretty hard to get boats, I tell you that. Pretty hard, but. So guys, as I sit here and struggle, you have to have patience and you have to have small enough tools to work around this. And mind you, it's raining and I'm like soaked. Um, but hey, we had to do what we had to do. And I was really determined on getting this thing out of here. And by the way, I tried shortcutting it at first and just taking the 19 millimeters off, but it wasn't possible. Now, once I was able to take off the bottom side bumper, I was able to have access to the 19 millimeters uh, bolts, which allowed me to pull it off right here as you are seeing. And this is the piece that we're gonna be mounting our hardware and all that too. Um, and let's go. Right now, guys, I'm taking all the lights and stuff off. I might as well take this whole bumper off. I was gonna keep it on. But, yeah. So, guys, I'm drilling into the bumper right now. I had to make my little small pilot holes. Uh, this is gonna be fine anyway because it's gonna be uh, hidden behind here. But as y'all can see, whoever had this before me had spray painted this. I know the previous owner didn't do this. I believe somebody else, but man, this is horrible. So I'm gonna have to, you know, repaint this sometime or whatever, but yeah. So guys, we got our first two holes drilled. So guys, we got the bracket on with the nut. We got the tightened up. So guys, I thought I was doing good, but I made a simple mistake, which had cost me uh, down the road. So guys, I had torqued these bolts down to 55 foot pounds. Here to be the other side, uh, but she nice and stout. So I can't wait to uh, put it on. So guys, this is the front side, the back side. Now the Porsche is ready to go. It took a little good minute, but we got her done. So we're gonna hook this side up now. So guys, we are on the last leg after getting rained on. Man, we are on the last leg. This was pretty easy, uh, you know, setting it up. You could use another person, but if you're gonna do it by yourself, I mean, you got it, it's not hard. It's, fairly easy like i'm saying but after you know thinking everything was all as well it's gonna bite me and yeah she is on as i can see i think once we have it level we need to tighten these down too to make sure she don't move out the way or anything so guys, it's kind of hard to do it by yourself, but I had to use this jack stand just to, you know, kind of remind me of like a trailer or something, but it wasn't too bad or nothing like that. Take a listen to this. Y'all hear that? It sound like it want to start over now. That don't sound good, but damn. Huh. Nah, she just died out. I ain't doing nothing now. It gotta be something simple. She ain't doing nothing now, guys. Guys, just as I was finna leave, guess what happened? I thought I had put the goddamn thing through, but it didn't, man. What the hell? So guys, I had to redrill all my holes, but y'all can see like, I'm lining up stuff real perfectly. 
I'm gonna re-sand this bumper and all that. I wanna sand this bumper down and repaint it and all that too. Hey guys, now I'm finna do a test drive. I officially got it. Uh, everything is sound. Guys, we are pulling it. It is actually going. So guys, so far so good. Uh, I didn't have stopped. But I did drive around uh, town back in South Carolina. Uh, it was driving great. Uh, it's driving great right now on the back roads. Uh, decided to take the back road instead of the interstate. Um, the back roads could be more sketchy. They got all these neat features and all that. But the tip been staying really good on the Mercedes and stuff, which I'm really surprised. This Mercedes actually tugging it away. Um, and it's weird with the Mercedes. When I have the lights off, cruise control work. But when I turn the lights on, it don't work. But I think, like I said, it's the brake light switch. So waiting on, waiting on that. When I, so um, anyway, I give y'all another update. I'm probably gonna stop. Might not record it. Um, just check everything. Make sure everything is good. Um, so. So I decided to do a pit stop, and man, I'm really surprised how well this car is pulling and how well everything is holding up, everything is snout and tight. I would recommend this part from Harbor Freight. You know, I'm not sponsored, but if y'all need something quick, you ain't trying to like, you know, spend money on a tow truck or anything else, man, go this route. You just have to do a little thinking uh, with whatever application you are going towards. So let's continue. As y'all can see, this is my temporary shop. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have a garage one day watch. Um, man, and my grandma, she used to stay right there and I stay right beside it. But rest in peace to her, I love her. But anyway, we're gonna get the Porsche right here, right here. So we gotta move all this. Uh, might end up getting a new toolbox, should've got one today, but it's unnecessary. This is gonna be useful. This I got messed up so good. And we're gonna be welding too. So y'all stay tuned. And guys, on that bomb show, that will be it. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you stayed this far, uh if like I said, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Let's grow and uh let's get to it. Um let's drive while we can and let's fix our broken fleet while we can. Um I'm glad I got the car back like i said i had options i had people who wanted to help me and stuff but i want to try this option and stuff um i'm trying to like be like more well i always have been like independent in a way i like thinking outside the box and like to do stuff for my own stuff i don't want to drag people in my you know my situation and stuff even though it might not be a problem with them still um but i appreciate everybody who had help i would try to help um i really appreciate y'all and y'all know who y'all are and stuff um and like I said, I'm not planning to switch between up and up to a truck that's dead. We spent 115 on today. Actually, probably 130 on today on this video. So uh, not bad. Oh, including gas. So maybe two some. Yeah. Anyway, not bad. At least we got a car home. So, and I'm just having a designated spot. And I'm going to be breaking her down or try to figure out where. I don't even know where to start at with this Porsche, to be honest. So we figure it out.